The Nao city is part of the 5th district and it is located at the northeastern Cebu. Wow! There are 42 barangays but there are more than 42 tourist destinations. Uh, if you're going to the Nile City, you can ride a V-Hire which costs 50 pesos and a Jeep number 27 which costs 35 pesos if you're going here in the marvelous Nile City. Just like the Spaniards introduced us, we have complex plaza, Bonising Park, and settlers, and we have church. Here in the Now City is the Karansa Festival. Halina Magkaransa na to! I'm going to go to the Festival. I'm to go to the Festival. I'm going 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 to go to the Festival. I'm
Danao is a component city of Cebu province. The city lies within the Metro Cebu area and is comprised of 42 barangays. The city is well known for its gun industry that started about 1905 to 1906. It is also known for its tourist sites like old churches, golf courses, mangroves, marine sanctuaries, and other heritage sites. Every month of September, the now annually celebrates Karamsa Festival that showcases the city's past and present heritage and culture. Karamsa symbolizes the true spirit of Danawanan. It is a dance expressing one's happiness. Karamsa is performed in four basic steps, the Ki'ai, Karag, Kurug, and Karahai that jibes with the Karansa official beat. This way, shake, and jogger dance movements are discernible during street dancing. The word Karansa is a word native to Barangay Suba. The people of the Barangay were known potters of the now. Pottery is one of the many popular products of the city. It is customary for the pottery makers to drink tuba or coconut wine to feel relaxed and dance as an expression of thanksgiving after a hard day's work. They would say, Tara na, magaransa na ta. The festival is a thanksgiving celebration in honor of San Tomas de Villanueva that also celebrates its feast day every third Monday of September. The festivity includes showdown competition and street dancing in vibrant costumes participated by the different schools from the elementary and secondary division of the now city. Roses, everyone! So, maybe you're from YouTube or Facebook. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, this video is all about Karansa Festival. I am Robert, call me RJ. And I am Fernando, call me Fernando. I am Lanjan, call me we are from Rosemont Hills Montessori College and we are uh, part of the General Academic Strand Students Yes, of RHMC So we're making this video because of contemporary arts from the Philippines subject So first and foremost, contemporary arts is the arts before the uh, modern, modern era arrived here in this country It's the, it's, it is the religious Festivals, the secular festivals, the different dances, the salimando, the tinikin, the kariniosa, and more and more and more. That is contemporary arts. So, we would like to give our deepest gratitude to our instructor, Mr. Sir Michael Gutierrez Sanico. So, so, thank you so much, Sir Mike, for giving us this opportunity. We thought that it's just for grades, but we have fun, right? Yes, yeah. we're so very fun and amazing. Yes, and for this video, we would like to share something about our experiences during Karansa Festival. So, Fernando, what are your experiences? Um, based on my experiences about Karansa Festival, it's so fun, even if it's so tired, it's more fun here in the now city. Grade six, grade seven, and grade nine, and I've been so I've been to watch many Karansa dances. Yes, I I watch all Karansa dances, but this season Karansa Festival 2018, it's very different. Why? Because before, as as I am that sing, as I am seeing the Karansa Festival, it's just something like it's just something like even the dog is doing like that. <laughs> something like 
um, it's different, the costumes, the props they use, and everything in Kananza, yeah, even the dog likes Kananza Festival, so, 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 it's so amazing, so I'll go with the technical, the costumes, it was so amazing because they use lights, and for the props, it was so amazing because it's so very colorful, even though the budget, they're, they're saving money, but, Output was very nice. Karansa was so very awesome. So, what can you say about Karansa Festival? Amazing, amazing. How about you? Um, satisfying to watch. Word. Satisfying. For me, it's wow. Why? Because there are many factors that made me, uh, made me, uh, so my eyes. Like to watch it more and more. Their dance, it's like they're doing it not because they were told so, but they're dancing for the patron saint Santo Tomas de Villanueva. Yes, that's the reason why uh, why this why there is karansa. It's to enjoy. Before in Barangay Suba, they have pottery makers, and after they made the pots, they dance and they drink Suba. What is to buy in English? It is coconut wine. So, guys, uh, I am recommending you to watch the Rancho Festival. Whether you are from outside Cebu province, or even you're inside, you're from the different districts, from Carmen, Compostela, Catmon, or different other cities, municipalities of Cebu, or even different parts of the Philippines. I'm recommending you to watch and witness Karansa Festival because Karansa is more fun in the now city because of Karansa Festival. So thank you so much for watching guys. I am hoping that you enjoy this video. Again, I am Robert. Search my Facebook name, Robert John Hopia. And I am Fernando Gomez. No, don't, don't search. And you might, you should search Michael Gutierrez Sanico. He's so very handsome. Hi, Sir Mike. Tuloy, tuloy, tuloy. Good vibes. Peace. Alisa, magkaransa na ta, no? Pao mo na din. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need.